Praise the Lord, church. God has already moved mightily in this service. But I just want to speak to you a few minutes for what he gave to me. Isaiah, oh, can you please stand for the beginning, for the reading of the word, for those that can. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of the government and the peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice and henceforth ev even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. You may be seated. I will be speaking to you for a few minutes calling on the name of Jesus, calling on the name of Jesus. God has been there so much for me. I, I can't, I'll, I'll be up here for hours telling you what God's done for me and my family. Just trust in him, pray, he will be there. Calling on his name, you call on Jesus' name, the one that formed the earth in six days, the one that could heal you, the one that could perform miracles, financial healing you, everything that you could ever think of, God can do it. No matter what happens, or what the devil comes and throws at you, if you call on Jesus' name, the devil will flee in the name of Jesus, because he has to. The Bible says that God cannot lie. In the name of Jesus, devils will have to flee. And Psalms 119 Verse 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Being a light in this world is so important. Being a witness, the way you dress, the way you talk, witnessing the other people. When God puts it on my heart, I try my best to go tell the person about one God or Acts 2.38. Whatever he lays upon my heart, because you are a child of the king, you are of a royal priesthood. Jesus will always be there. He will never lead you wrong. He will always give you something. And when he does, try your best. Just go over and tell the individual. The devil will throw something at you. <laughs> like, are you sure you heard what you heard was him or what Jesus? Or, you know, that person might get mad at you, but God will never steer you wrong. 1 Corinthians 23, verse 20. I mean, verse 30, sorry. And... To stand every morning and to give thanks and praise the Lord and likewise at even. I, when I was at my last job, I was sitting in the room. I was all by myself. I had like an hour left. And I turned on my phone as loud as it can go to Jesus music. I didn't know what I was going to do after. They were letting me go. And I just got up and I started dancing. I started praising Jesus because I knew what was going on. Everything was going to be okay. When I was dancing and praising him, I was saying, thank you, Jesus, for my other job. And he picked out the perfect job for me. <laughs> and most importantly, I got my church days that I can come to. All of them. All of them. And I just want to thank God for that. It's so important to praise him in your storm. What was going on today was so important. If God, if God just led you to walk out of the aisles and run, dance, shout, whatever it was, do it because it's so important. It shows him that you trust him. You have faith in him in every way. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. God has planned something for your life. You are here for a reason. You're not here on accident. I don't believe, no one, I don't believe in coincidences. God has a huge plan. He sees the future, and he can see what you do for him. The devil doesn't 
want you to come to church. He doesn't want you to praise. He doesn't want you because it makes him mad, for one. For two, because he knows what you could do for Jesus. He wants you to stay out in the world and do worldly things. But Jesus just wants, he wants you. He wants you just to live for him. And I know it's not easy. I know. The devil has thrown so many things at me. Growing up, I'm just a young man trying to follow Jesus. And I know the devil will try to do anything to betray, to, to, for you to betray Jesus. But if you just call on his name, if you just, you just praise him, you fast, you do everything that you can. It's very, very important to do all that. If you just follow his word, Jesus, you, he, he is your father. He's your comforter. He's your strong tower. He is your, oh, in your mighty name, God. It's, church is also important. I've, when I wasn't here for three months, well, close to three months, somewhere around there, I missed it so much. Thursday night and Sunday morning, I, I've tried my best to make it to every service, every time, because it's so important to be in church. When you hear a word that you, something you're going through and you hear a word that encourages you and you know everything's going to be okay, it's just something It's just something like that. You, just, you know everything's going to be okay. You just know it and it encourages you. My, one of... I was at my friend's work. I know I talk about it a lot, but I was at my friend's work, and I asked um, this one of his coworkers and him if you like the um, the beach or the the forest. It was just a question, and they said, "Oh yeah, you know, I, I like the forest because you could do this and this and such." And it was it was horrible. And same thing at the beach, you know, drink, do drugs, whatever it was called. And I said, "You know what? I know something." That is better than anything combined those. And I waited for about three to five minutes. And finally, one of the coworkers said, well, what is it? I said, it's the, it's the presence of God. It's the Holy Ghost. And then it turned into like a f almost four and a half, five-hour conversation with me and my friend talking about God. And it, he, God is doing something. My friend, he came to my house. He's, I don't think he's ever done this before. He came to my house. My mom and I talked to him, and he broke down crying and he was just telling us what was going on and that is very encouraging and we prayed for him and he left and he said I'm going to be in church and I believe someday he will be the boron also boron is it's it's boron use I'm not going to say it is boron is use to drugs alcohol, all the thing the devil can throw at you. But someday, born and Barstow is going to be a light unto a city. They're going to come to church. They're going to get baptized in Jesus' name. There's going to be so much people used out there. They have no idea how much God can use them. And the world has nothing to offer you except turmoil, grief, all that stuff. It's, it's And God has, he loves you, he can comfort you, he is your healer, he is your comforter, he could perform miracles and miracles, he's performed a lot of miracles, a lot of them, and I just want to thank God today for always being there for me and my family, and if you just keep doing what you're doing, and get up, and what I want is when I get up off my bed in the morning, I want devil, I want the devil to say, oh no, he's up, what is he going to do today for God? And I just thank God for everything that he is going to do for this church and for Boron Church and for the two cities in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Thank you. I'm going to ask Brother Jesse to come up here on the spot, in season, out of season. And I, I just want him to testify, just take about five minutes, you know, Thank you, Pastor. And praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. I am so glad what I feel in the house. Amen. 
Amen. Um, kind of on the spot. 